Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a neon text with water reflection in After Effects without using any plugins. Also, I will show you some of my motion design tips with you. By the way, if you wanna save your time so you can download this template from the link in the description below. And before moving forward, I would like to inform you that now you can watch my videos in different languages. So I recommend you to watch my videos in your native language to understand better. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we are in After Effects. Let's create a new composition. Name this comp whatever you want. And for your reference, I am using full HD resolution. Then simply select the text tool and write your title text then align it to the center of this composition and then I pre-compose this text layer as text check this box and click OK after that duplicate this layer and rename this layer as 3D text after that I check this 3D icon to make this layer as 3D layer then open the rotation properties and change the X rotation value to 180 degrees so it will flip upside down and then we can drag it down like this now I am adding a new solid layer name it as displacement map then I go to the FX and preset panel and search turbulent noise then I add it to this solid layer now go to the FX controls panel Keep the contrast at 100% and then open the transform properties. Then uncheck the uniform scaling. So we got individual scale options. Then I change the scale width to 300. And I change the scale height to 10. So we've got this kind of design. Then scroll down. And this is an evolution option and I want to manipulate it. So the easiest and fastest way to animate this property is that just using expression just hold alt on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch to open the expression panel in the timeline then we can put our expression here time times 100 then click anywhere to confirm this expression so we got this nice movement in our design all right so now i'm going to select 3d text layer and then search effect called displacement map and then I add it to this layer. Before moving forward, turn off the displacement map layer in the timeline. And then I go to the effects and control panel. Here I am going to change its displacement map layer. Set it as a displacement map. Then change source to effects and masks. Then I change the max horizontal displacement to 20. And max vertical displacement value should be 100. So now you can see how the 3D text displaced their shape and it looks like it's a reflection on water. It's already looking very cool. But we have to enhance this to look better. So I open the text composition and then search a effect called Glow and add it to our text layer. Now change the Glow radius around 35. And if I go back to our main composition, you can see it's add a volume in our text and now I'm going to add a new solid layer. Name this as a background and place it below all the layers. And then I add a gradient ramp effect into this layer. And then I change the end color to dark gray. Also, I change the gradient like this. And then I click the swap colors button to swap the colors. So you will get this kind of look in the background. Now I deselect everything and then I select Pen Tool. Also, I change the fill color to a darker black color. And I draw a mountain shape by using the Pen Tool like this. After making the mountain, I rename this shape layer as a mountain. And then I place it above the background layer. Once again, I deselect everything. And this time, I'm choosing an ellipse tool, and then I create a perfect circle. Also, I change its color to red. 
Then I rename this layer as Moon. Then I place it above the background layer and below the mountain layer. Then I search a glow effect and add it to our moon layer. And then I change the glow radius to around 30. After that, duplicate the glow effect and increase the glow radius around 45. Also, we can increase the size of moon as per our requirement. After that, I select the 3D text layer and then I choose a rectangle tool to create a mask over this layer like this. And then I open the mask properties of this layer and increase the mask feather to get this look. After that, I am going to add a new adjustment layer into our timeline and then I search a noise effect and then add it to our layer. Then I change the noise amount to 7. Whenever you add a noise effect in any design, it will add a depth into the design and it will look much better. Now it's time to animate our moon. So I select the moon shape layer and then open its position property and add a keyframe. Then I change the moon position slightly like this and then I drag the time indicator to the last frame and change the moon position like this. So it will move slowly just like a real moon. Now let me show you the benefit of pre-composition. So if I go to the text composition and change the text here, then go back to the main comp so you can see our text is update and rest of the animation is the same. So that's how you can create neon text with water reflection in After Effects. That's it for now. See you in the next video.